I'm Jack. I'm Paris. Did your parents travel a lot? Why? Your name is Paris. No. Did your parents change flat tires a lot? What? Or plug the phone into the wall a lot? No. Great. So we've cleared up that mystery. What's next on your fascinating list of talking points? Uh, what's your major? Seriously? You've got one minute to make an impression and that's all you can come up with? You want to know my sign too, Jack? Or how about my favorite color? Or if I'm a Brittany or a Christina? Here, I'll ask you a question. Was the last time you had an interesting thought when you considered flinging yourself off a building? Bye, Jack. I'll write Mother immediately. Yeah. Paris, and no, my parents didn't travel. Uh, Billy, and I have no idea what that means. Never mind. So, what's your story, Billy? Well, I'm a drama major. Ding, ding, ding! So, relax. I'm okay with you making valedictorian over me. Oh, good, thanks. Sure. I actually Googled the personal histories of Ivy League valedictorians going back 25 years and found some enlightening statistics. They don't necessarily do too well in later life. Did you know that? No. Oh, yeah. A lot of business failure, crumbled marriages, suicides, obesity. Oh, okay. A bunch died in car crashes. Several did time. One suffocated when his cat fell asleep on his face. Okay, well, thanks again. Do you want your kid to spend her life behind the counter at Dunkin' Donuts? Do you? No. Because that's where she's headed selling chocolate donuts and glazed fritters for the next 40 years to people in business suits who actually gave a crap about their academic future. I just want her to get into a good school. She has such potential. Well, so did Charles Manson. What? Look at her. Frankly, it may already be too late. I don't particularly like to take on such meek, diffident cases. Do you even know what diffident means? That's OK. That knowledge isn't really required in the retail donut distribution industry. Please, just give her a chance. Why should I? Because she needs this. Mom. Caitlin. What do you think? She's got a C average, which means she's either lazy or stupid. I can work with either. Frankly, sometimes stupid is easier. I can scare the stupid out of you, but the lazy runs deep. So you'll take her on? I will. Wonderful. Mom! Caitlin, thank you, Paris. You won't be sorry. OK, now if I can get you both to take these aptitude tests, then we can get to work. Why do I need to take a test? I need to get a realistic sense of Caitlin's true potential, and genetics is by far the most reliable indicator. I'm sorry? Basically, I need to know how much of this is her fault and how much of it is yours. Tick tock. Now get in the closet. What? If he comes in here and sees you, he won't want to date me anymore. Well, Jamie must be special. Or Ted Bundy. I think it's good to be adopted. If you get sick of them, you just dump this set and go find the originals. Hi. I need my ball. You need a couple of them, pal. What do you think? It stinks. Die. I got you a triple espresso that I'm going to put here right out of reach so Sleepyhead has to get up to get it. Die twice. I'm gonna grab Barbie's neck and squeeze until her expandable hair falls out and she's dead, dead, dead. I'm wide awake. It's your fault. You owe me Boggle. Paris. Boggle. One game and then it's back to bed. I'm not going back to school. You're pregnant. No. Sick. You look pasty. No men. Just lots and lots of Chinese food. I can't do this. What? Date. I can't date. I'm not genetically set up for it. I'm waiting for Doyle to call. I expected a call yesterday to set something up for last night, but it never came. So I ate a family-sized bag of salt and vinegar potato chips. I'm the most likely target, so I've already made up a list of enemies, which I've narrowed down from 26 to 5. Just at Yale? Just in this building. What are you standing there for? Let's go. You better start sucking on an Altoid. Is that mac and cheese? It sure is. I love mac and cheese. Great. I'm not allowed to have mac and cheese. Splurge. Come on, Paris, stay. Do you have a 24-hour pharmacy just in case I have an allergic reaction to something? Believe it or not, we do. OK, can I borrow your phone? It's by the door. Hola, Paris. Voy a comer la cena de casa de Roy. I mucho mac and cheese. For instance, the old Paris would have been bothered by your penchant to hover. It would have made her want to wring your neck till your eyeballs popped out. Oh, where are we going to put the couch? Why don't you just- Terrence? Come on, Terrence. Hello. What the hell did Romain mean when he was going on about weeding out the hyper-intense in the interview process? He stopped just short of calling me by name. I'm losing it. Not now, Paris. I tried to throw the questioning over to you because I was about to heave, and you left me hanging, so I had to come home and heave. I'll talk to you tomorrow, Paris. Wait. Everyone always says that. This is my speaking voice. This is its natural volume. My watch stopped. What time is it? It's 10.35. Yes, bye. That's not going to stop me from using air quotes. Out of the way! Move, move, move! Is it raining? No, it's National Baptism Day. Tie your tubes, idiot. Did you take a picture? No, Louise, I did not take a picture. I was a little busy trying to get air to my brain cells, a burden you've not yet faced.